all to the third event of Tech Fair today, Japan Hubba 2021. This is the startup showcase. I request Takashi Suzuki san, the Director General of Japan External Trade Organization, Jetro Bengaluru, to welcome the Japanese startup companies who are, who are here to present about their idea and their company. Over to you, Suzuki san. In Japan, major companies, VCs and accelerators are actively working in collaboration with startups to create innovations to solve the various problems that have arisen with COVID-19. Our firm, from a global perspective, is now looking at Japan as maybe a bigger potential than we previously thought when we first came here only a year ago. COVID-19 is not stopping Japanese companies from investing in working with foreign startups. COVID-19 is accelerating a trend for Japanese corporations to look more seriously and more quickly at implementing their own digital transformation. Big upcoming opportunity is the World Expo 2025, which Osaka was selected as the host city. The broad theme across the whole project is SDGs. It's time now to sort of really relook at Japan. Japan's 日本のエテック市場の成長率というのはコロナ前直近で13%コロナの影響によって30%ぐらいの成長率になるのかなというふうに予測されております海外のスタートアップが先行事例を日本に持ち込み関心のある日本の大手企業が連携することによってこの業界
there must be huge opportunities based on these uh, Japanese startups idea. And your thought will add development, diversification, and make it practical and even global. I mean, more innovatively. And my uh, second request goes to students. Uh, please just imagine if you work in these Japanese startups, and now I tell you in Netherlands, five reasons for your imagination. Uh, I tell you uh, reason one, Japan has world's third largest economy. It must be the big stage for you to play. And reason two, Japan is open as an innovation hub where the talent like you are the most wanted and welcome. Uh, you can contribute yourself and have more opportunity to grow yourself. And reason three, excellent business environment we have, which gives you no stress with reasonable, transparent, and efficient working environment. And reason four, we have stable infrastructure, efficient public transport services, connectivity, electricity, etc. Uh, that is very good for your easy living in Japan. And the last reason why Japan has livable, safe society, I mean, less crime, less COVID, no terrorism. Lastly, I would like to emphasize such business innovation only be created by people to people exchange. Even though it is not physically face to face meeting, uh, today, but thanks to the technology, uh, we are able to exchange and interact with each other like this. So I really hope this session startup showcase could be a good opportunity and first step for that purpose. Thank you very much and please enjoy the session. Thank you very much, Suzuki-san. This was very uh, good pitch for the uh, startup showcase. We will now move on to the company presentations. All the startups have established their presence in India already or in the phase of moving to India from Japan. We welcome again all the startup companies to the Japan Hub, uh, Japan Hubba startup showcase. Firstly, we would start the presentations from Amegumi India Private Limited. The president or the director is Kotaro Fukuoka-san. The company was incorporated last year in April 2020. They have developed a smartphone with original OS based on Android 8.1 from Japan. Over to you. Fukuoka-san, Thank you for introducing me, and it's really great to do a presentation here. Oh, let me share my screen. Okay, our company name is, as you introduced, Amegumi India Private Limited, and just incorporated on 2020, uh, on April itself. Oh, during their first lockdown, that was a kind of hell for everyone. Oh, and uh, let me in, uh, explain what is Amegumi itself. Amegumi is the word from Japanese. Ame means rain, Megumi oh, means the grace in English. Oh, sorry, excuse me. And we, our vision is to make the world where every single people don't give up their goals or dreams because of external reason. Uh, to uh, make this promote, uh, we developed the original operating system and we sell the smartphone in India. Uh, let me uh, explain detail. First of all, let me share the uh, situation of smartphone penetration rate in India. Uh, still 54%, uh, around 54% of the people don't have the smartphone yet. And uh, at, in, according to the uh, NCERT survey, 27% uh, of the children lost the opportunity to get education due to COVID-19. 
uh, because they don't have any device such as smartphone, tablet, nor laptop. Then uh, many children lost the opportunity and uh, no way to reach online class, high quality education, e-learning apps, useful information couldn't reach, opportunities are lost. And of course, before COVID-19, as you know, huge gap between urban area and rural area is there. On the other hand, some schools or some educational NGOs, as well as governments like uh, uh, Gujarat, or uh, I read the article in the West Bengal, they are looking for uh, digital innovation for next education. And they provide some device. But at the same time, they want to provide affordable, of course, and uh, low cost, it means the low cost smartphone, oh, sorry. And the uh, restriction must be there as well as the long-term usage. And uh, to solve these uh, issues, uh, we developed the original operating system in Japan. And uh, we already started to sell in India. We have three features. First is affordable, not the cheapest one, but still affordable. And the second is that limited function. We don't have any gaming app. We don't have any SNS app so that children uh, shall not uh, carrying kill their time uh, with using that. And the third is smooth use with high security. Then let me explain why we had to uh, develop original operating system. First, this is the simple uh, shortage of storage, like uh, you utilize ROM, right, in your smartphone. And to prevent from the shortage, uh, we don't allow any gaming app or no, like SNS apps to keep the space. This is really simple. And the second is that shortage of RAM. If you utilize Android smartphone, sometimes RAM has the issue to do uh, smooth use itself. Oh, we have the original operating system make this true by restriction to uh, keep continuously. And the third is that there is app error in some Android smartphone. Oh, we have original app store, we don't have Google Play, and we have only business or education, agriculture, we can call that productive app is here, of course, after our testing. So it means uh, app error uh, shall not be here. And the, the last one is OS error, operating system error. Uh, this is handled by a Japanese technology team. Uh, so you don't have to care about like uh, unnecessary update, too much update things. So it means uh, you can utilize three years at least. We have some apps of obviously WhatsApp is mandatory to uh, use in India. So if you want to utilize no game, affordable and high security with long-term usage smartphones, Humbrace is the one. With this smartphone, uh, children can get online class with Zoom or PDF material or as a reading material or homework, while they come to utilize some e-learning app to learn more with high quality education. Let me introduce one notable organization which collaborate with us. This is the SuperSati. Uh, you must understand what is SuperSati. And uh, thanks to uh, Anand Kumar. <clears throat> now we are considering like planning to do the online class with him to expand his method throughout the India, not only India, but to the whole world uh, with his like previous, uh, sorry, privileged method itself. And these are some features uh, that we are collaborating with. And this shows the, our team members. We have the, some engineering team in uh, Japan and uh, I'm sitting in Bangalore itself and uh, some advisors as well as uh, 60 angels. Uh, there. And this is the like small specific uh, slide, but uh, uh, what we sell as of now, we have four inch smartphone as of now, and you can use DR SIM, so you can use like, you can use as uh, well as the like uh, usual smartphone, but you cannot utilize as an entertainment tool. That is the difference. And now we are preparing for middle end, I mean the upper end of the smartphone, as well as the tablet. The, obviously tablet is uh, better to utilize as an educational tool. Okay. And uh, this is the last slide. 
but uh, now we are looking for some educational NGOs, uh, some foundation or CSR contribution to help the people with smartphone. It means a tool to take the education. And second is that some app uh, developers or IoT developers, as well as the educational content developers to distribute and expand you, your tech as well as our smartphone in, in rural area together. And the third is that the distributor we are looking for to distribute to Pan India at least. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Fukuoka-san. A very nice cause and initiative. Wish you the very, very best. Thank so, you. Yeah. We will now move on to the next company presentation. The company is I am beside you. This provides a video analysis. This is a uh, company that provides video analysis AI, which was established in June last year during the peak Corona. The company identifies itself as Corona native startup. The company focuses on video analysis as a service that will be required in future for online communication. The president is Mr. Shozo Kamiya, and he's also presenting okay. today for us. Over to you, Hi. Shozo Kamiya -san, san Dozo. Hi, thank you for introducing us. I'm really honored to this opportunity. To tell the truth, this is my first presentation in India. Hi, I'm Shoto Kamiya, founder of I'm Beside You Inc. This is my son. I was really happy when he was born and wish just his healthy life. But when he entered the school, he lost his power. He couldn't understand why he should go to school at fixed time, sat at fixed seat, take a fixed class from fixed teacher and I couldn't tell him why too. I founded new education business for my son. At first, I started creating interaction between children and adults other than parents and teachers. Second, I start online entrepreneurship school for mixed age, from elementary school students to high school students. I determined my vision is the whole world become a school and trying to make society easy to live. But no matter how good lessons we create, number of children our service can lead is quite limited. I want to give every children all over the world personal measurement fitting with each personality. So I found it, I'm beside you, Inc. We are a Corona Native company founded last summer. Our member is multimodal AI specialist and IP specialist, so we can create system and patents internally. Now, every person all over the world communicate via online, but online communication creates black box, and it's really hard to feel people's emotion and reaction via online. So we create system analyzing people's reaction by multimodal AI. We analyze facial expression, face orientation, gaze, and voices. Even in the same Zoom room, each person's reaction is very different. One child is always smiling. One child is very cool and occasionally smiling. We analyze each person's relative change and recognize what this reaction means for that person. One of our best is online tutoring service, Panza. More than 35,000 students they have. Our service can automatically cooperate with Zoom. After linking with Zoom just once, our clients get reports every morning. In this report, they can see every incident of yesterday's online lessons, which you should action immediately. For example, Student speaking is very few. Teacher said energy word and he lost the temper. Or a quite good lesson created students face brightness. Every day, 
they have good practice to other teacher and give warning to teacher individually on bad days. Its new core management system for COVID-19 era deliver continuous improvement to online communication. Here's an interview of CEO of our client. あの、作ってくるというふうに思ってますし、現に海外ではもそういうふうに大事さありますし、え、ま、オンラインで言うと前年比だいたいま、2.5倍から3倍ペースで今あの、できることですね。オンラインがいいということをあの、我々自身もね
at 2025. One machine. We want to get India market, but there are two problems, price and privacy. So now we are de developing new services. This is it. It's virtual camera app with virtual multimodal AI. This app completely work in the edge, deliver real-time analytics, and marginal cost is zero. Our new solution is zero marginal cost and no risk of privacy, because processing is only in client PC, there's no cloud data. We deliver this app to India market this April. You are like this encouraging each person's communications. We are continuing to hiring kind genius. Kindness is a really important factor for working with us because we always work for someone's happiness. We visualize every person all over the world is one and only. Thank you. Very nice, Kamiya-san. Very innovative and your thinking is too good. Thank you. Thank you once again for presenting today. Thank you very much. You. Now move on to the next startup uh, pitch that is from Yukai Engineering. It specializes in the development of robots. Robots are now playing a bigger role in manufacturing and disaster responses and many other areas. The CEO of Yukai Engineering is Mr. Shunsuke Aoki. Aoki-san, over to Hi. you, please. OK. <clears throat> Thank you for the introduction. Hello. My name is Shunsuke Aoki. I hope everyone listening is uh, doing well. Uh, before we start, I would like to quickly introduce myself. Um, I'm the CEO of uh, Yukai Engineering, and uh, my background is in software engineering. While I was a college student at the University of Tokyo, I co-founded a software company named TeamLab and became CTO. Later, I joined Pixiv, which is a digital community for artists and illustrators. And as CDO uh, grew the service as the most popular community service in Japan with uh, more than 40 million registered users. In 2011, I decided to start building a business based on robotics, which I have long dreamed of and formed Yukai Engineering Inc. I was also appointed as a juror of the Good Design Award in, in 2015. I'm looking forward to introducing you all to a company. So uh, Yukai Engineering is a Tokyo-based robotics startup that specializes in consumer robotics and IoT. Essentially, we create hardware and software to improve quality of life. And at the same time, we provide products and business development services. Our company vision is to see a communication robot in every household by 2025. We are hoping that these communication robots are from our company. Our company's uh, award-winning products include Nekomimi, a headband, with fake cat ears that move in sync with the user's brain waves that was selected for Time Magazine, the world's 50 best innovations, 2011. And a Kubo, tail wagging therapeutic pillow. Our flagship communication robot, Boko, has been a big commercial success in Japan and it's being used as an interface platform in family and senior remote care service programs. I will be introducing and providing more information about our main products uh, in the following slides. 
So uh, first off, I would like to introduce our communication robots, Kubo and Putty Kubo. Let me show you the uh, video. Thank you. Kubo is what we call a tail cushion that heals your heart. It's basically a cushion robot with a tail that reacts differently based on how the users pet it. Kubo is very popular among a wide range of people from younger people in their 20s who may live alone to elderly people who are unable to own a pet but would like to. The original Kubo was released in November 2018, and we have shipped more than uh, 20,000 units. And its relaxing effects have actually been tested at elderly homes, where we were able to measure the positive emotional effects of a cushion with a wagging tail. Kubo is a Red Dot Design Award uh, winner and Good Design Award Best 100 Product, both very prestigious design awards. Putty Kubo, which was newly released in Japan in December last year, is a smaller and more sophisticated version of Kubo. The tail still works in response to the touch of the user, but they also um, the acts to the surrounding soundscape, whether it be voices or loud noises. Pretty Kubo also has a subtle heartbeat that the user can feel petting it or lying next to it. These newer features give Pretty Kubo a more realistic and pet like quality, um, <clears throat> which uh, we hope will help provide similar uh, healing effects like a real pet would. We held very successful pet Kubo crowdfunding campaigns, both in Japan and also overseas last year with a total of over a thousand supporters. Uh, let me go to our next product. Um, I would like to introduce uh, Boko Imo. First, uh, let me show you the video. Boko Imo is, uh, simply put, an evolved emotional smart speaker. This robot is a renewed version of our original Boko communication robot, which is scheduled for official release in Japan in March. Boko Imo is an everyday communication tool for families to exchange voice messages and text messages and remotely take care of loved ones. Boko Imo is used with a designed chat room app where you can exchange voice and text messages with others in your chat room. 
it can also be set up to send scheduled reminders or weather information. It is capable of connecting to sensors and the internet, which then enables users to monitor and control their home environment. The term emo comes from the word emotional, rooting uh, from the idea that we wanted to make a robot you would interact with emotionally. Boko emo can move its head and say hello when it senses a user nearby. It also lights up its cheeks, shakes its antenna, and makes cute sounds in response to emotional words emojis in text messages and when called by its name. Boko is also a recipient, recipient of the 2020 Good Design Award. Uh, the final series of products I will be introducing is Cricket, an educational product series produced to provide users such as children an easy way to learn, pro learn robotics. Through our Cricket series, we want to help develop the curiosity that everyone from children to adults has to learn, to understand, and to create. UK Engineering proposes an experience where these people can easily act on those curiosities. We sincerely believe that the first step of to le all learning is to have fun. So one of the cricket uh, products we would like to introduce is a Creator Critter Robot Kit. This kit is the official NHK Enterprise um, Elementary School Robocon, which is held by the Japanese uh, National Broadcasting Service uh, in, from the 2020. Our other products uh, such as uh, create an adventure craft kit uh, and Kokoro kit are also an official NHK contest kit. Thank you uh, very much for your attention. We very much hope that Yuka Engineering has caught your interest. And if you would like to learn more about us or opportunities with us, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Aoki-san, a very interesting one. And best wishes to you and to your Kuku, Boko, Emo, and Kurikit. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, we now uh, move on to Hoshi Tri Impact LLP. This is a technology accelerator, basically focusing on coordinating uh, technology collaborations between India and Japan. They provide handholding support for the business development with India and Japan. The founder is Ms. Shiho Sakaguchi. Sakaguchi-san, dozo. Thank you so much for the introduction, Nathanafan. Uh, I'm Shiho Sakaguchi, founder of Hostry Impact. Uh, it's uh, very grateful to, to uh, talk about my company uh, at uh, Japan Hapa, especially in this occasion. Um, so uh, today, um, I would like to talk about uh, 3C between India and Japan, especially in business collaboration. Since I think uh, we have to uh, understand 3C, we um, to make successful collaboration between the two countries. Our mission is to develop the talent to understand 3C in India-Japan uh, collaboration in order to accelerate the local businesses in both the countries. So what is 3C? 1C is complementary. The second C is Contradiction. The third C is compassion. Uh, we think that uh, all three are necessary to uh, uh, develop the collaboration between India and Japan. So I will talk uh, about this more uh, later. Um, now, uh, let me introduce myself. 
I came to India in 2001 uh, for my internship when I was a student. The first thing I learned in India was uh, uh, how to make the chapatis. The organization uh, which I worked for, the internship, uh, done several businesses. One was uh, catering uh, for big companies like Siemens. And they used to make a thousand of chapatis every day. Uh, so apart from that, uh, uh, so they did uh, uh, several businesses. Um, I ran setting up bakery, uh, running retail shop, accounting, microfinance, interview research, uh, rural development, and so on and so forth. Uh, it was very, very intensive internship. I, I did not know uh, the language at all. And, but at the end of the day, I somehow figured out uh, how to communicate with uh, the Indian people. So this experience actually made the foundation of my career. And since I did such an intern intensive internship, when I came back to Japan and to complete my study, I thought that I can do anything I want. Um, uh, though uh, I used to wonder uh, what I can do in my life uh, before the internship during my student days. Uh, after nine months internship, uh, I, com I completed my study and got a job at a venture capital company in Japan. So uh, I started working uh, for venture capital company in Japan and came across more than 1,000 SMEs in Japan. I evaluated uh, at least 2,000 business plans so far and then this experience made me uh, realize that uh, some Japanese SMEs had potentials uh, which are really, really something great. So let me tell you more about Japanese SMEs. Uh, you may think of large company uh, name as Japanese company uh, like Sony, Tachi, NEC, BTC, Toyota, Suzuki, and Honda. Um, but you may not know any names of Japanese SMEs. But the, those products uh, of the large com Japanese company are actually backed by many Japanese SMEs, uh, which are uh, which used to be called as KFC. Through the experience at the VC, uh, I understood uh, some common features of Japanese SMEs, which have uh, very reliable technology, superior quality, and excellent operation. So uh, one question for you. Uh, do you know how many SMEs are in Japan? Actually, uh, 99.7% of Japanese companies are SMEs. So uh, as numbers, 35.9 um, lakh SMEs. I'll give you some example. So this company was actually went to IPO uh, during uh, uh, my work at the VC company. He, this company is an example of uh, process innovation. Uh, there was an existing business. It has been manufacturing long-lasting, high-year resistant parts, uh, which is uh, uh, to use uh, high hardness materials for electrical machining. And so this company actually uh, developed their technology to new application. So uh, this uh, uh, diamond soap wire is to process uh, silicon wire uh, for solar cells, solar panels. 
it is it's a, such a thin wire. Uh, they coated the diamond uh, uh, granule to cut the uh, silicon very thin, slice the silicon very thin. The next example, uh, so this company has a very reliable and durable product. Um, it's Kogoku, uh, uh, the name, company name is Kogoku Kogyo, uh, has a global market share, 50% uh, of uh, their uh, product, which is uh, optical isolators and filters. Those products are used in the optical amplifier for uh, submarine cables. So submarine cables uh, consists of many optical components and uh, it is being laid like 6,000 meters below the surface uh, in the sea and uh, will be in service for a uh, quarter of the century. So uh, it, uh, this component uh, have to be very high performance and reliable. So uh, like this, uh, some uh, Japanese SME has uh, a very strong market share in uh, global market. Last year, Japanese government recognized 113 uh, companies as in a global niche stock. Uh, among 113, 67 percent are SMEs. And in average, the, those company has 43% uh, of global market share. Then operating margin in average is greater 0.7%. So it is uh, supposed to be very high uh, if they are in the manufacturing sector. And so uh, those uh, uh, SMS technologies is significant uh, in some market. But they have uh, several challenges like uh, uh, dependency on existing relationship, um, then less exposure to market abroad and less digitization and limited resources. And India is next uh, destination uh, for Japanese SMEs uh, because India is only potential market as large as China, um, but uh, so uh, uh, India uh, ranked as 12th uh, of uh, global location of Japanese companies and among that only 50% is uh, Japanese SMEs. So uh, here we come in uh, to accelerating business development. Uh, what we provide is um, we implement business model. So given that there is a, a potential growing market and complementary technologies, and they help them to cre create India-Japan technology collaborations. So, uh, so far, uh, we did certain times online survey tour for Japanese SMEs and uh, been engaged 86 uh, Japanese SMEs and evaluated the uh, uh, potential business in India um, 100 times. Uh, this is on YouTube, so you can uh, search for hosting part on YouTube as well. This is my uh, our management team, uh, both of our uh, partner has experience uh, in Japan as well as India. So uh, I we came back to uh, our mission. So we help both uh, the Indian and Japanese company to understand three key between us. So as complementary, uh, we have uh, um, uh, many things uh, like uh, hardware technology um, and software technology, aging market and young market, uh, uniformity and diversity. Um, but when it comes to business, uh, there is uh, such a contradiction 
And in Japan, we appreciate common perspective, but in India, uh, there's no single perspective. But finally, uh, at the end of the day, we have to uh, create compassion between us. And so uh, what we do is uh, uh, to uh, uh, nurture the talent, uh, understand those three aspects of uh, technology collaboration between India and Japan. And uh, uh, we will be welcoming you if you uh, have passion to uh, uh, understand the three seeds and also uh, 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 explore the opportunity in, as a partner or as a part of our team. And finally, I strongly recommend if you are a student, uh, please study in Japan and also get the experience at the uh, Japanese SME for internship. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sakaguchi-san. Your engagement with India is quite strong and we wish you the very best and you bring more business collaborations with the two countries. We now move on to AWL Inc. Japan. This is into AI and deep learning based video analytics headquartered in Tokyo. We have Mr. Alok Bishoi, the project manager of AW Inc. Japan. Uh, over to you, uh, Alok. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm, from, I'm Alok. I'm a project manager at OWL. So we are an AI camera-based solution company. And what we carry out is we carry out digital transformation of physical spaces. So what that means is a very simple way to think about it is we are sort of like Google Analytics, but just for physical spaces. So we give our customers insights as to how people are using the spaces and what sort of information that they can gather so as to make the business a lot more uh, profitable. Uh, for starters, so we, uh, we started around like five years back and in our management team, we have the support of Satudora Holdings, which is a large uh, drugstore company. And as well as that, uh, we have multiple offices. So our head, head office is at Tokyo and we also have a development site at Sapporo, Hokkaido. And we also currently have presence in Hanoi, Vietnam, where we have an R&D subsidiary. Now, the very good thing about uh, working for all is that we have a very multicultural team and a multicultural aspect to it. So we have people from around 17 countries with uh, also a significant presence apart from Japan and Vietnam, and also in India, where we have collaborated with IIT Bombay for R&D activities. And we also have uh, dealings with a lot of physical spaces and customers where, from where we sort of collect data for our AI algorithms. Now we are looking, we are active, we are a growing company and we are actively looking for people in engineering, in business development, in product development, as well as hardware people as well. So we are all in, in bringing in smart and talented people from anywhere in the world. So our vision, so all's competitiveness and advantage lies in the fact that we are an edge first company and we have strengths in building a, a AI algorithms specifically that run very fast and in low power devices. And because owing to which we can introduce our products across a wide uh, price range as well as that caters to a lot uh, larger market share as well as needs of the customers. Now, uh, as in the last point, bringing artificial intelligence to the real world. So it takes a whole team and not just engineers in standalone or business people in standalone. It's a challenging and exciting role to bring to apply AI in the real world and we are up for it. So speaking of the, the major uh, product uh, lines that we have. So A, we have Allbox, which is sort of our STB device where you can replace any of your VMS uh, solutions with this Allbox and it makes it smarter. So we can connect it with existing cameras and it sort and it performs high uh, high powered and high uh, high powered and very advanced AI algorithms 
and we also have a smaller counterpart for it in 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 case the the site has smaller need of camera so we have an all box mini where we can also provide crowd status analysis and uh, details about the customers who are visiting your spaces and we can we support it for a maximum three cameras right now now we also have one very interesting line of product that is called all light which in fact i am heading so all light is a tablet based solution which perform very similar to what all box and all box mini does but with a twist so we perform the inference on our tablet devices and we also use it to so uh, signage ads as well so a lot of the customers that come to the physical spaces they can see these signage devices and we can sort of get insights as to what sort of ads work well or not well not work well and apart from that we also have a host of uh, covid specific solutions like thermal cameras and mask detection if a person and if the population is washing the hands or not so we also have a entire line of products dedicated just for that uh we'll be briefly going over the our product features right now so uh as i mentioned we also we have of course our covid specific solutions where we have mass detection crowd estimation and we also notify if a, if uh, certain people get closer and apart from that one of the main uh, line of solutions that has been get, gaining a lot of traction is a signage and ad optimization so we often see uh, how much uh, insights or eyeballs a particular ad gets from in a physical space is just very similar to what google does but for but we here we are doing for physical spaces now apart from that we also have integrated a lot of other host of ai solutions to our existing products such as allbox allbox mini so for example you could have gender age analysis you have customer analysis if you you could have a evidence footage picard you could see if a particular uh, for a particular event has occurred or not and this sort of information can also be relayed back to some of the cloud servers integrations that we do with our customers so if you're also a full stack engineer we will be happy to have you on board now let me go go briefly over all box so this is uh stb device so the setup device setup box device that we sort of uh plug in in uh retail stores like uh, and convenience stores especially so the key advantage to sort of building this whole product is that we have we have our own control of the hardware from the hardware side to the software side so we have control over the ai chips and 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 it ex the control extends to the software as well so we develop a uh, specific algorithms that are able to run efficiently on this subset of chips that we use now in terms of product features it has a lot to offer so it can use almost existing cam all, almost all the existing cameras and it's a patented solution we have a ready to use cost and cost and it cost cuts installation costs we also have a uh, high scalability so we can take in data from a lot of sites that you have and we can sort of process them the process the in, the data that we get from the edge and we can present it in a dashboard and we also use it for a lot of other features like for marketing for sales assistance for crime prevention etc now this is a brief overview a uh, technical high level overview of how exactly it works so for people who are more into the technical side of things this will be a very fun slide to look at so a of course we have a uh, patented solutions that sort of give us an aid in terms of building a uh, very efficient very fast and high powered solutions that can learn that can run on low power devices so we have patents on that and we also have devices that can in easily integrate with the existing camera solutions so briefly for a high level overview we have this gpu we run our applications we have a model db we have a trainer where we keep on getting data and con continuously define it and we also push the data and the inference data to the cloud so yeah this is the whole picture and if it looks exciting again reach out to us so all light so our light as i had mentioned earlier so it's sort of a tablet based solution or uh, the tablet counterpart of uh, all box that we are that i that, that that i just went over earlier so in this case we perform ai uh, inference on a tablet so uh, it is a it is a very challenging hard engineering problem to, to how to be able to run uh, this uh, heavy uh, mo ai models more accurately in this such low power devices that is 
palatable to our customers so again we have uh, the advantages that is, that we that our light provides that it's low cost it's high accuracy and we can sort of give this whole overview of how much eyeball a particular uh, ad or a particular physical space of in a particular store or receives and of course we sort of use this sort of uh, ai analysis to provide insights to the customers so that they can increase the revenue and also bring in more relevant ads to the ecosystem uh yes so i been so this is essentially a brief overview of how we use our light for uh, uh in the advertising industry so we can of course specifically target cohorts of population for example if we have a subset of population that belongs to certain demographics so we can of course change the ad on the go so that uh people uh, the ad who would who show the ads can target their audience a bit more effectively and we have already installed um these sort of solutions in um, in large amount of convenience stores in japan so yeah that's a brief overview of what our products are do reach out to us if you're interested in um, working or it, it, it listen barely knowing about us it's a fun place to work and i hope you guys reach out to us thank you thank you alok a very high end technology thanks for introducing uh we now move on to the next startup that is yes agri a startup founded in 2018 by mr suboi shunsuke yes agri is a agricultural support platform for farmers uh mr satoshi nagata a representative in india would be presenting today over to you nagata san for the presentation good afternoon everybody this is satoshi nagata from sadly yeah uh today i'd like to thank to uh, this uh, tech fair committee uh i'd like to thank you for your uh, organization uh i'd like to thank to uh, jetro and to the uh, i2p community and also agency uh, teams okay uh, I, uh, i'm i'd like to explain our company details and what kind of technology we have and what kind of business we're doing in here in india okay uh, our company sagri represents the satellite image, satellite a big data analysis and ai machine learning and good polymer technology by using these technologies we are solving the social problems yeah in the world uh, this is our team composition uh, we are the founder uh, fusion of the real business and academics yeah our ceo and the ceo is from academic background and our ceo and myself is coming the global business today myself uh, so chad is going to speak uh, uh, from global business side yeah okay uh, this is a problem here in india maybe you may aware of it yeah uh the financial institution uh, wants to lend money but it's impossible and also farmers wants to lend money but it's impossible these are the factors here it's kind of credit creation more problems here in india that's why we have come here come to here in market uh since 2019 september timing yeah so well, this is the market size uh this is a 50 billion market here it's here in india and to get the, to get some share here in india we come here to this deal with it this is our technology we are using a, a polygon and the uh on the uh protein the plate for plant farm run and then by using this uh, by using this technology we can estimate the crop yield and the estimates how how the situation going on in the farm run and also we can detect the uh uh detect the how the situation and monitor the situation going on in uh farm run yeah and also combining the soil information as a, as a parameters we can create a more nice uh, platform for uh, indian farmers yeah okay this is why uh why uh, government and the company farmers can use our technology this is by profession for all uh, then uh, this is about as one attractions in japan and mainly we are dealing with the japanese uh, government and the local government in japan and also uh, we'd like to expand our business in india okay uh, this is a brief introduction of the our asean market yeah this is for this is for your uh, information uh, okay for example uh, this is thailand yeah 
Ayon ng government wants to, you know, expand smart agriculture projects in rural area, and also uh, we are now supporting the create the uh, platform for uh, government and farmers and also uh, corporate players. Yeah, uh, we are going to create the data platform, a nice platform, yeah, to uh, for everybody to enjoy the data and encourage the smart agriculture in Thailand. And similarly, uh, more deeply, I'd like to explain our India business here. We have the two business lined up here in India. One is in microfinance, second is uh, digitalization. Yeah. Um, microfinance, uh, before uh, previous section, I, I explained, yeah, uh, we are doing this, we have, we have the nice market value and social the big problems in India uh, in terms of uh, credit creation. So we are using the satellite images and the source sample testing. Then we are into the uh, microfinance business uh, from the beginning. And also in addition, in the COVID-19 situation, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people into the uh, farmers, uh, farmers section, and also they need the more digitization in terms of the technology. So in this case, uh, we can uh, make a very addition to the every agricultors or farmers in rural area. Okay, uh, let me explain more deeply for each project uh, in India. Okay, at first, this is our uh, microphone species here in India. So we are now present in the uh, Rajasthan, a manual climate bar. Yeah, we are doing the microfinance. Then we, we have we finished the uh, around 200 microfinance for farmers. Yeah, we are we are we have alliance with our partner in the rural area. Then based on the data and satellite images, we can detect see which farmer is part of good. Uh, yeah, and also to, you know, which kind of farmers you are reliable to loan or not. Yeah, by using our uh, pilot, pilot, pilot funds, we can we did the uh, some pilot microfinance project to uh, some small farmers group. Yeah, and by using the bond of the uh, small farmers group, uh, we did the some pilot project for microfinance in a rural area. And then um, by connecting the local players and uh, uh, our partners in the rural area, so they can connect to the market. So that's why we can support from the beginning to end, like that. Yeah, and uh, mainly we went into the input microfinance. So uh, this enables the farmers to expand our business, their business rather they can enjoy or they can utilize the input fund. Yeah. And then secondly, uh, our, this is our project in Rajasthan uh, since last year. Uh, mainly, uh, you may realize that wheat is in key crops in India, and also sometimes it's fluctuated in terms of uh, amount of the production, and sometimes uh, content, uh, content of the protein, sometimes have difficulty in terms of quality. Yeah. So to deal with these problems, we are into the Rajasthan, and then we are detecting the, uh, how is the yield going on, uh, related, related with the satellite images, and also how is the situation going on with the protein contents. Then by combining these data, we can uh, create some formula to uh, detect the uh, detect or estimate the uh, yield in uh, in our farmland. Then, uh, based on that information, we can support farming and how to do deal with how to do you know, fertilizer uh, conversion. That kind of thing we are doing in Rajasthan these days. And also, uh, this is other Tamil Nadu project. Yeah, in use there's some aggregator. So we are uh, creating some data platform. Or like a United Data Platform Organization uh, standard for aggregators we are creating now. So, uh, so uh, everybody tend to do some paperwork based, but the, by using our platform, they can uh, create the uh, imputation by a mobile, and, and they can uh, they can utilize uh, in the um, uh, laptop uh, laptop platform, and then uh, understand the, how is it going on the ground level, and also how is history going on. Then based on uh, combining the uh, present and the history, they can understand the, how is the situation going on. Uh, then based on that, uh, based on that information, they can, uh, they can, the farmers can uh, track the record continuously. And um, this kind of business we're doing uh, by using satellite images and big, big data, and then uh, machine learning here in India. And also mainly, we are uh, KP, uh, uh, 
you're, you're squeezy, mainly the uh, polygon mapping. So, right, so it's connected, directly connected to the uh, visualization. So, um, this is our key factors in India. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, this is our vision. So, thank, really thank you for your attention and listening to our presentation. Uh, if you have any wonder, uh, you can Google my uh, name in LinkedIn or uh, some mail yeah, via Jetro or uh, other committee. So uh, if you have any wonder, please, please feel free to ask me anything. Okay, okay thank you. For, uh, that's all for my presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for listening.